If there's one thing Germans are really good at, it's engineering. If you want something built to last and you want it done efficiently, ask the Germans to do it for you. They are quite simply the best. At least that's the stereotype, but unfortunately it's not as accurate as you might hope. Just ask any German about Berlin's new airport, which still isn't open, or Stuttgart's new train station. I could also mention Hamburg's Philharmonie or Leipzig's S-Bahn tunnel, but at least those projects have been completed. But right now the thing that Germany is talking about is the A20 Autobahn. It's a lovely autobahn, but it does have a particularly annoying flaw. There's a big hole in it, and nobody is completely sure exactly why. Work on the A20 started in 1992, one of many projects to improve the road infrastructure in former East Germany. It runs from near the Polish border to Lübeck, improving access to the Baltic coast and linking it to the West German Autobahn system. Things didn't always go very smoothly. One section was built with a concrete surface of a type that was already outdated and was so noisy that a 100 km an hour speed limit had to be imposed. Later that section was asphalted over, but rain washed some bitumen binder onto the road where it caused damage to 300 vehicles. And now, whenever the weather gets particularly hot, the asphalt actually blisters. But in September last year an even bigger problem came to light. It happened near the town of Tribsis, where the autobahn is basically built on a peat bog. A 100 meter section suddenly sank half a meter. A month later part of that section sank another two and a half meters. That basically completely destroyed 40 meters of autobahn. And since then, the hole has got bigger. It's now about 95 meters long. And the signs are that it's going to get even bigger. That section has obviously had to be closed, meaning that autobahn traffic has to be directed onto local country roads. Investigations into the causes are still not complete, but that hasn't stopped people squabbling over exactly what happened and how to fix it. Local farmers blame the renaturation of a river, which was done at the same time as the construction of the autobahn. They say it raised the water table and so washed the road away. Nonsense, says the Agriculture Minister of Mecklenburg and West Pomerania. The water table is at a level that was pretty much exactly that expected when the autobahn was planned. The culprit is probably the supports used for the foundations. According to the State Transport Minister, at this point the autobahn runs over a large body of peat. The concrete supports that are supposed to stabilise the peat may have been too weak to withstand the pressure. Whatever the cause, it's expected that the problem will be fixed and that section of autobahn reopened by 2021, which is not especially good news for the residents of at least two villages who have to cope with autobahn traffic until then. It's also not very good news for the tourist industry along the Baltic coast, as visitors from places like Hamburg or Lübeck might avoid the area completely for fear of traffic jams. But you can do your bit to support the local economy by taking the train instead of driving. Why not book your vacation in the Mecklenburg Lake District or on the island of Rügen? Show your support for the region and explore an oft neglected area just off the beaten track. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.